Given two sorted linked lists, how can you merge them into one singly sorted linked list and return the new head? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Steve. Today we're going through Libcode problem 21, merge two sorted lists. Let's take a look at the problem, very classic. Merge two sorted linked list and return it as a new list. The new list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. So given these two lists, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, the merged new sorted linked list should be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So it's still sorted. First, we'll go through the iterative solution. And in the next video, we'll go through the recursive solution. Iterative solution. So just think about the problem. Suppose we're given these two, suppose we're given these two linked lists, 1, 2, 3, 5, x, and the second linked list is 2, 4, 6. 6 is the tail node. How can we merge these two sorted linked lists into one sorted linked list? So this is the given input. L1 and L2 is just a two linked list. Okay, so we'll use that. L1 and L2, these two linked lists. And then for linked list, a very typical trick is that we'll initialize a dummy hat or a fake hat or whatever you want to call it. So I'll just call it um, previous node. And also, we'll assign previous node to the current node. And we'll use the current node to iterate through the two linked list. So first step, what we're going to do in the iterative solution is, or actually in both solutions, iterative and recursive, we'll always compare L1 and L2, see which one is smaller, right? We always care, we always want to splice the smaller one with the current node to be the current node next pointer pointing at. Right? So we'll compare L1 and L2 first. In this case, L1 is 1, L2 is 2, L1 is smaller than L2. So we'll use this the node that is pointed by L1 to be the current dot next. That's this line. Next step, what we'll do is after we do that, so L1 is assigned to be current node dot next. At this point, this node is, is sort of merged into the, the final result already. So at this point, what we'll do is that we'll move the L1 next pointer towards right, uh, assign L1 dot next to L1. So L1 moved. Next step is that we'll move current, current dot next, assign current dot next towards current. That means we'll keep moving current towards the right. Well, current will always hold the position where its next pointer should be merging with whichever one is smaller in between L1 and L2. Then next step, we'll compare L1 and L2 again. So this is the slice that we just went through. I have just finished the first iteration. What we did is that we'll just keep comparing L1 and L2, see which one is smaller, and then we'll merge that one into the current node dot next. And then we'll keep moving whichever one that got merged in the last iteration towards the right, and then we'll keep moving current as well. This is the second one. This is the second iteration. We'll keep comparing L1 and L1 and L2. So L1 is now pointing at the node with the value 2. So 2 equals to 2. So in this case, it doesn't matter whichever one we want to take, right? So we'll just take the second one. Current dot next is pointing to the node pointed by L2. Next step, we'll move L2. Since this node is merged into the final result, we'll move L2 towards the right and then move current as well. So current will be moved here. This is the second iteration. Now we're done. Third iteration, we'll compare, we'll, we'll just keep, con uh, so you see at the end of each iteration, either L1 or L2 will need to move towards the right, right? So beginning, this is the beginning of the third iteration. L1, L2, they're pointing at these two nodes. We'll do comparison, two and four. Two is smaller, so then current dot next will be pointing to the smaller one. And then we'll move L1, and then we'll move current. Now this is done for the third iteration. Now we'll compare these L1 and L2 again. We'll just continue to go through the end of it so that we can see how the code actually gets executed. Now compare L1 and L2 again. Which one is smaller? L1 is smaller. So we'll assign this one, current dot next, to L1. And then L1 moves towards the right, current moves towards the right. So this is the end of the fourth iteration. Now let's see, beginning of the fifth iteration, we'll compare L1 and L2 again. So in this case, L2 is smaller. So we'll assign this one, current dot next to L2. Now L2 is moved, so we'll need to iterate, we'll move L2 towards the right. Now L2 is here. 
this is done with the fifth iteration. We'll also move current to here. And then we'll compare L1 and L2 again. L1 is smaller in this case, so we'll assign current dot next. This pointer pointing towards 5. Pointing towards 5. That's it. And then we'll keep moving. So in this case, we merged the node pointed by L1 towards the final result. So we'll move L1 to the right. And now L1 is pointing at now. That's the end of it. So in this case, whenever we get into the case when either L1 or L2 is pointing at a null node, that means we have finished iterating either L1 or L2. And then at that point, we can just point current on next towards whichever one is still has some remaining nodes. In that case, we'll just assign current on next towards whichever one is remaining. In this case, in this example, it's L2. So we'll just assign the current node that's pointed at by L2 toward to be the current dot next. That's it. At this point, we'll just return pre dot next. Remember, we have created the fake dummy node called pre, and pre dot next is pointing at the new hat, right? So we'll just return pre dot next. That's the end of the iterative solution. We're done. So see here, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this is the, so after this iteration, we have merged the two sorted linked list into one and return the new head. All right, that's the idea. The time complexity of this algorithm is O M plus N. M and N, they are the two lengths of the two given linked list because anyway, we have to go through the two simply linked list Time complexity is just O1. We are not using any extra memory or we're not using a recursive function, so it doesn't have any call stack. All right, now let's put this idea into the actual code. Let's see how that, um, go, how that is going to play out in the actual code. Let me copy this uh, node, node pre, and we'll just as initialize the dummy node and then we'll have another one called current and assign previous to be current. So while the, the code will have a while loop and we while L1 not equals to now and L2 not equals to now. In both cases, remember, we need to check if both if both linked list are not now, if either one of them is now, we can just assign whichever one is not now towards the current dot next, then we're done, right? So in the while loop, what, what we will check is whether L1 and L2, both of these two are not now. In that case, what we'll do is if L1 dot, since both of them are not now, we can safely assume, uh, we can safely access dot val. We don't need to worry about it, it throws null pointing exception. L1 smaller than L2 val. If this one is smaller, what we'll do is that we'll assign so see what we did here is that this is the very beginning. L1 is smaller than L2. What we did is that we assign current dot next to L1, right? That's the first step. So assign current dot next to L1. This is the first step. Second step, what we did is that we move L1 towards the right. So in actual code, that's going to be looking like this. We assign L1 dot next to be L1 because we have merged L1 into the current node. Else, so remember, we can put smaller than or smaller than or equal to, or you could put either way. So that's fine because the same value it's, it could come from either linked list. That's fine. In other case, that means if L1 dot val is greater than or equal to L2 dot val, what we can do, what we will do is that, well, in that case, what we should merge is L2 into next, L2, and then keep moving L2 towards the right, L2 dot next. All right, this is what we did. And then, so back to this example, after we move L1 towards the right, what we need to do is that we'll also move current towards the right, right? So this is the pointer where we should merge either one of the linked list node into, right? This one, this current node will keep moving as well. So what we'll do here is current, current dot next. That's it. And then we'll, we'll just keep doing all of these operations, all of these iterations until, until when? Until either one of these linked list nodes are pointing at a null node. 
At that point, in this case, it's this L1. L1 is pointing at now at this moment, right? What we will do is, and that means if either L1 or L2 are now, that means this while condition will not hold. Then we will just break out. At that point, what we will do is that we'll assign current dot next to what? To whichever one is not now. L1 equals to now. If that if that is the case, then we'll just assign L2. Otherwise, we'll just assign L1, right? And then in the very end, what we'll do is we'll just return previous.next. That's it. That's the final result that we're going to return, right? Here, print.next. We'll just return print.next. This is the final position of the current node, and the final position of either L1 or L2 is over here. That's the idea. Now let's hit submit and see. Oh, line 13. What is this? L2 not equal to now. Uh, no space. Hit submit again. Yeah, exactly. This is the idea for the iterative solution. I hope this walkthrough will help you understand how the iterative solution, how to merge the two, link, two sorted linked lists to work. If you like this video, just do me a favor and destroy the like button. Peace. I really appreciate it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're now going through a linked list series. After this, we'll go through tree problems and then priority queue, and then a different combination of data structures and algorithm to help people better understand and better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews. Really appreciate it. And also hit the little bell notification so that when each time I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. See you guys in the next video.